new album will be out next month in Britain. Um, and we'll talk about that later. But going back to the beginning, it's quite a while now since the first album was out. And, um, and you were sort of labelled as a thrash band then. <coughs> and just this morning, I sort of read something in the music press about you know, metal thrash stars, Metallica. You must be pretty bored with the thrash tag. Is it the other Metallica? What are the, uh, the non-thrash Metallica? Yeah, the other band right. crying around somewhere that's saying that's right. thrash. <laughs> I don't do know, I, it doesn't really bother me much anymore. A couple of years ago, I was like really worried about being called a thrash band because I thought, you know, we were, we're not. Now, I just, I'm pretty much at ease with it. If mm -hmm. some journalist wants to call us a thrash band, it, I think it just makes him look stupid because I think we know and I think most of the people out there know that we're not really a thrash band, so it just looks, whoever's labeling us a thrash band looks silly. And I don't know, it just doesn't really bother me that much anymore. What about the, um, you <coughs> once said, going back a while, that if you had to have a label, it would be um, sort of power metal. Does that still apply? <laughs> or is that? It sounds, like it, it sounds like it was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I mean, just these labels and stuff, I don't really think. A couple years ago, people were like, well, you know, trying to force a label on you. And I think that we just thought power metal for a few minutes was a nice alternative. But now it just doesn't really seem like any of these labels matter much. That's why we have a band name, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So looking back um, over the albums and over all the years, how has the band developed? <coughs> I mean, you are more of a unit now, or are there sort of disadvantages <laughs> to longevity? Or <laughs> well, I mean, the first album, all that material was written, you know, about two years prior to it coming out. So, so the transition from the first to the second album seems like a huge one because the material was quite a bit older. And uh, you know, actually putting a slower song on the second album kind of freaked people out. And then uh, we just uh, kind of grew as musicians along the way. And uh, I think this last one is pretty much our best one, of course. <laughs> Welcome friends, this is T again with another reaction video and today we're going to be listening to Metallica Enter Sandman live in Moscow in 1991. All right, it's in HD, but you know, the quality still poor because I guess <laughs> 1991 was a long time ago, I'm assuming. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. Look at all those freaking people out there, man. Oh my goodness, they got helicopters flying. I mean, this is insane this is crazy look at that man is that what is that like a, some kind of tower look like a few of them out there man it's like these like towers they had back in those days boy i mean they really do out of party man you know i've been to some rock um some rap concerts but nothing that looked like this man i don't know what this is boy in moscow oh my goodness boy they know how to party down there don't they so let's go ahead and get into this reaction but before we do please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos okay all right let's get with it
right, we just reacted to Metallica, Enter Sandman, live in Moscow, 1991. Oh my goodness, man, this song is really, really good, and oh, and the energy from that crowd, oh my goodness, boy, these guys know how to draw a crowd. I'm assuming I heard this name before Metallica, because back in the day when I was in high school, I see a lot of white boys wearing Metallica t-shirts, right? And I was like, I think I had a conversation with this guy. I was like, what is it about this music that you like so much? He said, he, he tried to explain it to me, man, but you know, I was so shut off about the whole thing. He was saying the energy, the feeling, you know, what they represented, all these things he was trying to explain to me. But, you know, I, I kind of shut myself out back then. I didn't want to really hear it because I was into rap music and R&B. I laughed. Okay, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? But I used to see that a lot. I mean, I think through high school, I saw, like, Metallica t-shirts all over the place, man. I don't know how many Metallica t-shirts out there now, but when I was growing up, they was out there a lot. So I did hear the name before. So it's, it's amazing, man. These guys, boy. Now I can see, now I can understand why these guys love Metallica, boy. This song is is hitting, man. I'm going to have to do some more reactions to this. I mean, these guys are throwing down on this stuff, boy. I miss so much growing up, man. I miss so much. I would love to been there, man. I didn't even realize, you know, I've never been to Russia. I've never been to Moscow or any other place like that. I mean, I've been to Germany and things. But I never really experienced how the how these people like you know celebrate or, or how they react in concerts. You you always picture it's just an American thing, right? As you're growing up, but then you start to see that they're a lot like us in so many ways. Even though the government a lot of the time try to paint them as different, you know. I mean, everybody have their differences, but I'm just saying when it comes down to certain things like music and concerts and things like that. We all are pretty much on the same page with that. We all love the party. We all love the rock. We all love the rap. We all love to do all this stuff and just have a damn good time. You know, right now, a rap is declining because of the kind of music they're putting out because of all the crazy stuff that's going they're going through right now. And at first, I thought rock was declining, but I think it's going in the opposite direction. I think it's growing more because people are starting to get into the music that their that their fathers or their mothers or their great grandfathers were like in, into like Metallica, I'm assuming. So they kind of starting to love that music and kind of stick to it. And unfortunately it's not a lot out there these days because, you know, I don't recognize most rock bands, but like I said, I do recognize the name Metallica. Now I think that might've seen them on an award show. I didn't see them sing or perform or anything like that. They did one, of, one of the, I think the, the, uh, one of the guys did like a skit or one of the Wayne brothers. It was fun. They was, I remember that they was talking about, uh, people pirating their music and they didn't like it. It, it was a, it was a funny skit from the little bit I do remember of it, but it was a very funny skit. But I remember one of the Metallica Metallica people was on that skit. It was funny because they, at the time people used to steal these music, man. I don't know if any of y'all remember it. Oh yeah. I'm sure people still doing it now, but back in the day it was like a new thing. People were pirating music for free and, and artists would get pissed about this, man. I mean, can you imagine how much money they make? Look at all those freaking. Hold on, let me just let me just get a little picture of all these freaking people out there, man. This is insane, man. These people out there. Oh my goodness, man. It's better at, at the beginning, man. Look at all those freaking people buying tickets, man. And you know, I'm sure they buying food, they buying alcohol, and might be other things they might be out there buying too. But can you imagine these guys must be loaded. Because from my understanding, you know, the record company usually make more money off the albums and, you know, the recordings and things like that. But the artists make most of their money through, you know, live performances, man. And look, look at that. I mean, that's a sweet deal right there, man. These guys, I mean, they could pull in some people, man. These guys are amazing. I love that song. And, you know, the sad part is I probably wouldn't have appreciated if I heard it when I was younger. Because like I said, I couldn't really understand why a lot of uh, people like their music, like this kind of music. But, you know, I can see now, I, you know, things change a lot when you start getting older, though. It's, it's weird. You know, the things you start to really appreciate more. You thought, like, oh, my goodness, this, this music does sound pretty good. And now I understand it. Now, if I was like into it back then, I probably would have brought me a Metallica T-shirt or something. Right. Like I said, I saw a lot. I mean, this band must be one of the most important bands out there because the name is got the name is like Superman in, in the superhero genre. Right. You know, that you know, that 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 symbol he got on his chest. 
everybody recognizes it around the world. And I think the same thing when it comes down to Metallica. Everybody reckon if you asked me a rock band to name, I would have said Metallica, one of the names I would have named. Because that name had big recognition for some reason. And I guess these guys are very popular. So it's like, even though I didn't really listen to the music back then, but I at least knew the name. And definitely you recognize the t-shirts people used to wear. I mean, if it, I mean, usually the kid would like go like change going down. Um, down their pants or whatever. They got these chains, I guess, attached to their keys or something like that. But it was a certain type of look they had in, Meta- in these Metallica t-shirts, man. So they were big fans of it. I'm sure everybody had posters back then. Back then when they used to have posters. I don't know if they do the poster thing now, but back then that used to be a really, really big thing. Because, you know, it was very... When you were young and it came to concerts, and I remember this too, when you were young and it came to concerts and you couldn't afford it, on not be able to go. The second best thing is probably to buy a t-shirt or a poster, you know, and just listen to the music. You can just fantasize. I wish I was there. I wish I had this experience, you know, and some people get it. Some people are able to have that experience, but a lot of people haven't. I was one of those people. I couldn't see too many concerts. I saw a few, but nothing like this though. This is insane, man. I wonder if that's all Russians out there. I wonder if it's some Americans that came. I saw some people in military outfits too, boy. So they probably were traveling over there at the time when, you know, we was at peace or whatever you want to call it. If we were ever at peace with Russia, I don't know, but it, it looked like there was some military people out there just jamming to this music, man. I wish I really appreciated it back then more than now though but i'm glad to hear it now and this was a great song the energy was fantastic i mean amazing boy and i can totally understand why so many people will show up for their concerts i completely understand okay all right i really appreciate all of you coming by now there's as, as fresh and frit will say there's a lot of ninja watches out there you're watching my videos, but you're not hitting that like button. You're not hitting that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. It will help the algorithm, and it will help me out a lot. It will help grow this channel. So I'm trying to work hard to put out stuff that y'all might like. So please, guys, please help me out, okay? All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again, and this is TMP. Peace.